Hello, Jess Too Good here, and do you remember that LEGO City 2021 Crooks Hideout Raid set that appeared at the end of a LEGO Friends instruction manual randomly? Like, it was a set that LEGO leaked themselves, it seemed like maybe it would be a spring release or a summer release. Yeah, that's never coming out. <laughs> Brick Fanatics reached out to LEGO and was like, hey, is this set ever coming out? And here's what they said. With LEGO City, we always aim to represent the reality of the world in a way that is fun, positive, and appropriate for kids. With this in mind, we have decided not to launch this project as we no longer feel it is in keeping with the values of the LEGO City brand. What? I mean, I guess at this point, the values of the LEGO City brand applies to no crooks doing cartoony stuff, which... Oh my gosh, I guess that just kills a whole bunch of sets that we've gotten before. <laughs> I'm not saying companies can't change their values, but uh, this is going to be different for LEGO City from now on. Or is it the police aspect? I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm all for no more LEGO City police sets for quite a bit because we get one every single year, like a wave of them every year. But this is just not making sense to me. I mean, Brick Fanatics even brings up the, uh, bu the bu bu bell... Boeing V-22 Osprey situation, which was a set that was canceled last year because it didn't align with company values. That one was a military vehicle, which I was surprised LEGO made a military vehicle in the first place because that is against their company values. But what what is this one? Like, what what's, what's against their company values in this one? I, I don't understand. Here's the thing, though. I don't agree with no military vehicles as toys. I don't agree with no police stuff as toys. All this stuff just seems way overreactive. Uh, but I do appreciate that LEGO is sticking to what they feel are their values instead of just doing something to make money. Like, yeah, releasing these would make them a lot of money. But if they feel it's not right, that's actually kind of cool that they're doing a creative decision over something that would just, you know, make them more money. Now, do these decisions make sense? No. <laughs> I mean, maybe the Boeing one, but like that was produced and everything. Like why Why did it stop right before release? And why wasn't it uh, before when they were actually like designing the set? Like didn't it come to their mind that this doesn't, uh, you know, align with their values? And then the Crooks Hideout Raid, I don't even know what this new value is. Like what does this not align with the new LEGO City values? Unless their new LEGO City values is, we've released too many police sets the past few years. Let's take a break from it. But at that point, I, I don't think that's a strong reason to not release this set when they already revealed it themselves. Like, maybe if this was just a leak that showed up online, sure, but this was at the end of an instruction booklet. <laughs> There's just so many facepalm moments with this from the LEGO company. So yeah, that's my two cents. Let me know what you guys think, if you could figure out what values this shows that doesn't align with the LEGO City values. <laughs> and I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Bye.